Hello, I'm Dr. Kim Nichols, board certified dermatologist and founding director of Nichols MD of Greenwich in Greenwich, Connecticut. Today's procedure is PRP for hair loss. PRP stands for platelet rich plasma. And this is actually found in our own blood. And it's a serum that contains platelets, which are cells that derive stem cells. And stem cells, of course, trigger production of new cells. And in this case, we're trying to trigger production of hair cells to go to the next stage and grow. This is a procedure that's used for people who are looking for a non-surgical solution to hair loss. And there's various types of hair loss that people may have, but the most common, and the one we're gonna talk about today, is male pattern, or female pattern, in case of female, uh, hair loss, or androgenetic alopecia. So this is your genetic aging type of hair loss that tends to get worse with age, especially when we start to hit late 30s, 40s, 50s, but it can occur in people as young as in their 20s, just for genetic reasons. Patients that may be great candidates for this procedure are ones who are starting to see a receding hairline, or for instance, especially in women, noticing that their hair is just not as thick as it used to be. They're starting to see some thinning there over time, and it seems to be just getting worse. And this is when you wanna jump on it and start getting these treatments early because this is one of those treatments that the earlier you get to it the better your results and what it's aiming to do is to get those hair follicles that are stunted to get them triggered to get to that next stage so they start growing again and then of course maintain that over time so since today's patient is a male you might want to hear an interesting statistic male cosmetic procedures have gone up over 350% in the last several years and growing steadily. And hair loss is one of the main cosmetic concerns that men come in for. So this is a perfect treatment for men to get into these treatments. So today's patient for PRP for hair loss is Carlos. How are you, Carlos? Very good, thank you for having me. Good, well, thank you for being here. So Carlos, tell us a little bit about what got you interested in PRP for hair loss or what brought you in? Um, I started experiencing hair loss when I, in my early 20s. It was very, very frustrating. It was a very hard time in my life. I was able to live with it. Uh, and then I realized that I was has to be a solution of my problem. So I started looking for some information. And I found some surgeries that I was really scared to get into until I found you, Dr. Nichols. And then you told me about this special uh, procedure that, that you're going to perform. And hopefully it's going to be the result to the problems that I've been having for such a long time. So we'll now begin the PRP for hair loss treatment on Carlos here. Carlos, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so this is gonna be a very quick treatment. So first, I wanna show you the PRP. And remember, that's platelet-rich plasma. So here, we've already drawn up a vial of Carlos's blood earlier. We put it in the centrifuge to spin for about 10 minutes, and out came liquid gold. And that's what's in this syringe here and that's what we will be injecting. And it's rich with the platelets, with the stem cells that are going to trigger the hair growth in Carlos's scalp. So let's begin. Because this is a medical procedure with blood-borne products, my assistant and I will be wearing a mask and goggles to protect ourselves. And I will have Carlos close his eyes so that there's no splashing of the product when we're injecting. All right, let's begin. Prior to the procedure, we've prepped Carlos's scalp with some alcohol and cleanser. So now we will begin. Very nice in terms of helping with the injection discomfort is the use of a distraction device, this little yellow gold wand here. And what it does is it gives little pulses next to the injection site, and that really helps with the discomfort that Carlos may have, although it is mild in general. Okay, so we'll begin. So Katie, you can follow me around. You do have to do a series of treatments in the beginning and usually six to eight over a year span. And that's because hair cycles in a very slow fashion over a year. So we treat it back to back for that whole year. And then if we've gotten good results, which most people are getting, we maintain with a maintenance or booster injection, just one, not a whole series, every three to six months, depending upon the patient. Important to know, 
when we're doing these treatments and we discuss with the patient from the beginning is that all treatments work in conjunction with a good home regimen to help the results come in faster and to maintain. And that will include, usually, a hair restoration kit that we customize here at Nichols MD of Greenwich for each patient. Patients often ask what to expect in terms of hair growth if they're successful. And I usually tell them in terms of visible hair growth, those first hairs coming in, usually, on average, it's about the third or fourth treatment that patients will start to see something even though there is growth going on underneath even earlier. How you doing, Carlos? Well, Hi. good news, we're done with the treatment. Katie's gonna clean off your scalp and then she's gonna do a nice little two to three minute scalp massage, which patients love because it feels good. It also helps to disperse the PRP. In terms of what to expect after the treatment. So for most patients, really not much. I mean, some patients may have a little bit of a headache or something afterwards. They can always take a Tylenol. Um, but besides that, most patients really don't feel any discomfort after the treatment and go right back to their normal activities. So hopefully by about three to four months from now, we will start to see some hair growth in Carlos's scalp, which hopefully will get better and better over time. So if you have any questions or want to learn more about PRP for hair loss and for hair growth, hopefully, then please call our office at 203-862-4000 or get more information on our website, kimnicholsmd.com.